Welcome to the video presentation on rotational symmetry. We have this figure here. In this figure, we have, let's say that we have these four arms that are of equal length and they are attached at this center point, right? So this is the center and these are the four arms of the, in this figure. Let's say it's a, any object. I have colored this uh, arm with green color because of due to some reason I'll explain to you that imagine that we rotate this object or figure exactly at this point right we rotate at this center so this will be the center of rotation right what will be this this will be center of rotation center of center of rotation okay so let's say I rotate this with an angle of 45 degree so I rotate this with an angle of 45 degrees so that will be angle of rotation that will be angle of rotation angle of rotation okay so I rotate this with 45 degree and we get this so this is the reason that I have colored this arm with a, with the green color because you can notice the movement of this these arms of this figure now since I have rotated this with 45 degree so of course every arm will move by 45 degree now is this current position of this object or figure is this current position is it exactly the same to this one? Is this figure exactly the same to this one? Of course not, right? Because here, this, these arms are actually, you know, uh, two arms are, uh, one is upwards, uh, another one is downwards, one is towards the right, and one is towards the left. But in this case, it's completely different. Okay, now what I do is, I again rotate it, I again rotate it, at an angle of rotation of 45 degree again so we get this one now if you look at this figure notice that this figure is exactly the same to this uh, this one just forget this green color the green color is just to tell you know so, uh, to tell the movement of these arms so that you can notice okay this figure is now exactly the same to this one this is the rotational symmetry so and at an angle of rotation of 40 90 degree because when we first rotated it with 45 degree it was from this position right from this position i we again rotate it with 45 degree but now the final rotation is total of 90 degree so at an angle of at the angle of rotation of 90 degree this figure is exactly the same to this one and now we have rotational symmetry at this position right symmetrical these two figures are exactly the symmetrical okay now we further we again rotate this with 45 degree so we reach it we reach here we can again see that this figure and this figure these two figures are not exactly the same we again rotate by 45 degree again so you notice that till now we have actually rotated uh, total 135 degree 45 degree then 45 degree then again 45 so now total movement has been about uh, of 130, uh, 135 degree okay so we again rotated it with 45 degree and now we have reached to this position this green arm after having 180 degree of rotation is now finally here 45 45 45 and 45 right so again at an angle of rotation of 180 degree at an angle of rotation of 180 degree this these two figures are again symmetrical so we will say that these this is actually rotational symmetry okay this is showing us the rotational symmetry we again rotate this with 45 degree so now the total rotation will be 215 degree right at this position we have 180 degree of total uh, rotation now if we again further rotate this with 35, uh, 45 degree, it will be, sorry, of 225 degree. I'm sorry, that will be of 225 degree. So what do we get? We get this one. 
Again, this is not exactly the same to this one. So this is not showing a symmetry. So this is not the rotational symmetry. What about this one? We have again rotated by 45 degree. So now the total is actually what? Total is now, is now 270, right? So finally we have rotated, rotated complete 270 degree. So at the angle of rotation of 270 degree, these two figures are again uh, showing the rotational symmetry. They are again the same, exactly the same, right? We again rotate it with 45 degrees. So we reach here and again, not symmetrical. And we again rotate it with 45 degrees. Now the, it has now completely rotated to 360 degree actually. If you can notice, this is complete rotation of 360 degree, right? It started from this position and this here. So this 360 degree. So at, an ang at the angle of rotation of 360 degree, this, sorry, these two figures are exactly the same again. So this is showing the rotational symmetry. So if you notice that at first at, at the angle of 90 degree, these two figures are exactly the same. Then at 180 degree, these two figures are exactly the same. And then at 270 degree, these two figures are exactly the same. And then at 360 degree, these two figures are exactly the same. So we, we will say that this particular figure, this particular figure, the initial figure has a rotational symmetry, has rotational symmetry of order of order four. Why? Because first it was at 90 degree, then at 180 degree, then at 270 degree, and then at 360 degree. At these angles of rotation, we have rotational symmetry of order four. And the rotation was around the center of rotation at this point. So this is about the rotational symmetry. In the next couple of videos, we'll learn about uh, rotational symmetry of circle, of rhombus, of uh, parallelogram, of triangle and all. And one last thing, if you notice that here, rotational symmetry is of order four. If you remember, we had discussed when we were learning about uh, line of symmetry. The video link I'll post uh, in the description box below. So if I ask you for this particular figure, how many lines of symmetry do we have? Clearly we have two lines of symmetry. The first one will be this one. The first one will be this one. Okay. If you take this line, as a mirror, right? Or let's say that imagine that this is a line and around this line, you are actually folding these two arms. You're folding towards, you know, in this direction. So this arm will completely coincide with this one, right? And this arm will completely cover this one. Or if this, you imagine this as a mirror, then this arm is a perfect mirror image of this one. And this arm is a perfect mirror image of this one. So we have one line of symmetry, this one, and there can be another line of symmetry that will be around this direction, right? So we have two lines of symmetry, right? We have two lines of symmetry. Right? We have two lines of symmetry, but we have rotational symmetry of order four.